Okay friends, in this video, we are going to prove the closure property for rational numbers for the different operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So let us first begin with addition. Now what we do is we take any two rational numbers. In this case, I have taken a positive rational number and a negative number and what I'm saying is let's try to add these two rational numbers so let us add 3 by 8 plus negative of 5 by 7 now if you recollect this is very similar to adding fractions the only thing in fractions is the fractions were positive but here we also have a negative number which is in the form of p by q. So we have to be careful of the negative sign. But other than that, we can use the same method. That is, we took the LCM of the denominators. Okay, so in this case, the LCM of denominators is 56. 7 times 8 is 56. And then we just multiply 3 times 7, that is this one, and 8 times minus 5. So this is what we get, so 21 plus minus of 40 and when you solve this part here what you get is minus 19 by 56 now if you look at this resultant number it is in the form of p by q which is what we discussed the p by q and the denominator the q which is the denominator is not equal to 0 so when we add any two rational numbers we see that the number is always rational now I have just shown you for one example but you can try it for your own just take any two rational numbers and try adding them you will always find the rational numbers to the result to be a rational number now if we look at subtraction subtracting two rational numbers so what we are doing is we are subtracting negative of 5 by 7 so we are, we are subtracting 2 by 3 from negative of 5 by 7 so that is minus 5 by 7 minus of 2 by 3 now we follow to do the subtraction in a similar way like we did the addition earlier we take the LCM so we have here 21 and then we get in the numerator we get minus 15 minus 14 and when you solve it you get minus 29 by 21 now if you look at this number the result of this subtraction we got it is in the form of P by Q that is numerator over denominator and the denominator is not equal to zero hence the result is a rational number and again friends this is just one example you could try any two rational numbers the resultant number after subtraction is always going to be a rational number hence the proof for the closure property for rational numbers now let's look at multiplication so what do we do in multiplication? Very simple. We just multiply any two rational numbers. In this case, we have taken minus 2 by 3 to be multiplied with 4 by 5. Now this is similar to what we did like multiplying fractions. Only thing we have to take care of is this negative sign over here. So what we do is we multiply the numerators and the denominators. So minus 2 multiplied by minus, uh, plus 4 is minus of 8 remember when you multiply a negative number with a positive number the resultant number is a negative one so that is minus 8 and 3 times 5 that the denominators gives you 15 so minus 8 by 15 is the result that we get and as you can see this is again in the form of p by q that is a numerator upon a denominator with the denominator being equal to 15 that is not equal to 0 hence this is also a rational number so we can say that when we multiply any two numbers any two rational numbers the result is always going to be a rational number now let us look at division let us check whether the rational numbers follow the closure property or not under the operation of division so what we are doing is we are dividing minus of 5 by 2 by 2 by 5 okay that's what we are doing now one thing to understand is when we are doing this sort of division you can actually simplify the division by converting in the, into a multiplication so minus 5 by 2 remains as it is but you convert this division into a multiplication sign over here 
and the important step you do is you change the numerator into denominator and denominator into numerator for this number 2 by 5 so you can see what we are doing 2 by 5 it becomes 5 by 2 okay and now we have converted it into a multiplication problem so we can just simply multiply both the numerators and the denominators and also you need to take care of this negative sign over here okay so we have minus 5 times 5 gives us 25 and 2 times 2 gives you 4 so you can see that this is a rational number now you might be tempted to believe that the rational numbers are close under division right because this number is a rational number however the key thing to note in this case is the case of 0 okay so let's say that we are dividing this number minus 5 by 2 by 0 and we know that whenever you divide any number by 0 or whenever whenever 0 is divided by any number okay I said the other way around whenever you divide any number by 0 the answer is not defined okay it is just not defined so just because of this property of a, num a rational number being divided by 0 being not defined this is an exception uh, for the case of division and hence we have to say that the rational numbers are not closed under division however if we were to exclude zero okay all the rational numbers could be considered closed under division but the key thing to note is that zero is a rational number right zero is a part of a rational number and why is that because you can write zero upon one right and this the answer of this is zero so this is in the form of p by q and q is not equal to zero okay you could also write zero upon whatever hundred or you could write zero upon anything you know so zero can be represented as a rational number and therefore because a rational number is no, so not defined is not a part of rational numbers and therefore division is not closed under rational numbers so to reiterate what we have concluded we learned the proof of closure property for addition subtraction multiplication and division of ra rational numbers and our conclusion is that the rational numbers are closed under the operations of addition subtraction and multiplication and they are not closed under the operation of division primarily because of zero if we were to exclude zero then yes whenever you divide any two rational numbers the answer will always be a rational number so that was about the proof of rational numbers and their closure property